Hey everybody, um, as preppers, as homesteaders, and even in our everyday lives, um, things don't always go as planned. Uh, things go wrong, problems come up, so it's, it's important for us to learn to be resilient, um, uh, learn to make the most out of a bad situation, find the silver linings, and as they say in the military, improvise, adapt, and overcome, right? Uh, so one of the problems that I've been facing here for the past month or so is, I don't own a huge property. It's about an acre, maybe a little bit more, but a lot of it is grass that has to be mown. And my grass grows really thick, really fast. And I usually end up having to spend about Oh, three hours every week or four hours every uh, other week cutting it. Otherwise, it gets extremely out of control. And by that, I usually mean in two weeks, it can get over well over a foot tall. Um, and in some places, give it a month and it'll be five, six foot tall. It grows extremely fast. Now, one of the problems, as I started to say, that I've been dealing with over the past month or so is that my riding mower decided to die on me. The engine still runs, but there's some damage to the engine that I can't repair and it just won't stand up to cutting grass anymore. So I don't have the money to go and buy another lawnmower right now. So in the meantime, I'm having to every couple of weeks borrow a uh, a riding mower from a family member so I can just keep my grass under control. And I've been looking around and I don't know why it didn't occur to me right off the bat. But uh, when I first cut the grass, it was really tall, um, almost four and a half foot tall in some places. Uh, the average being probably about two foot tall and others. And it took me a long time to cut this grass. And you might be wondering what I'm getting at here, but once I was done, I didn't really think anything about it. And then I just got done cutting it again uh, about a week and a half later. And it, it just occurred to me while I was cutting grass. And again, I don't understand why this didn't cross my mind before. Maybe I've just got so much going on Maybe I've got too many things on my mind, too many projects I got to get done, trying to figure out the solution to too many problems. I don't know, but for whatever reason, I didn't think of it until this, uh, actually yesterday, or the day before yesterday, uh, when I was cutting grass. But as I was cutting all this really tall, thick grass, I end up with this. And I don't know if, how well this shows up on camera, but piles and piles of grass clippings I've got let me let me flip this around for a second and show you this a little bit better okay so as you can see that's a decent pile of clippings um, and I've got multiple piles like this around the yard where I was cutting grass now one of the piles, and this is the reason I thought of it uh, the other day, one of the piles that I had from the first time I cut my grass this year, uh, it set out in the front yard, and when I went over it with the mower, the grass underneath had died. Now, it'll grow back. I'm not worried about that. But it was a pile like this. And I got to thinking, okay, I need to move that. And then it just, just like that, it, it occurred to me, I'm constantly needing to amend my garden soil. Why don't I use this to start my own compost bin? Uh, because I, I don't currently have a compost bin. It's been something that's been on, on my mind to do, but it's been low on my priority list. Okay, so I've got, right now I've got five, five and a half, or five or maybe six piles similar to this. Uh, now, it's probably going to be more than what I need. But, um, yeah, I th I'm thinking about just starting a, a quick and easy 
compost bin and then I can work with it and improve on it later. Just, but it'll be something to get some compost started because there's a lot of dead brown leaves in there and a lot of fresh green cut grass in there as well. So it, it's got already got the blend of greens and browns you need for compost. So I'm gonna load my wheelbarrow up with this stuff and I'm gonna take it over here and I'm gonna dump it into a trash can that I've got that I intended to use for this a while back. And I'm gonna start that. I'm, I've got a feeling I'm gonna end up with more clippings than I can fit in this can though. So I may have to get me another can or something. But I'm gonna set the camera up and then I'm gonna get to work breaking this up and move that to the, uh, to the new compost bin. Be right back. Okay, so, all right, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start piling this in this trash can. Uh, now, again, this trash can, I bought it a few years ago for a project that I really never got around to doing, and I decided to repurpose it to a compost bin. Uh, but since then, it's just been sitting outside, so. I'm not really worried about anything with this trash can, but I'm gonna start packing this grass clippings down into this trash can, and I'm gonna soak them down with water, get some more and put in and just keep layering it, soaking each layer as I go. All right, so one wheelbarrow load, and that can's already that full. I still have a nice pile out there, and I still have four more piles, so I'm gonna have way more than what I need. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, at least temporarily, is just gather up all the rest of it and kind of pile it up to the side here. Obviously, this is not the location that I want for my compost being permanently, but this will do temporarily. It'll get things going. Uh, 
I've got so much stuff I'm trying to shuffle around and clean up and get done, but this, this will actually get going, but I'm only going to be able to get a little bit more in here. Uh, I, I'll go ahead and fill it all the way up to the very top, soak it down. And then in a couple of days, I'll come out here, I'll dump it into the wheelbarrow, mix it up and dump it back in. Um, but yeah, this is not even, not even half a pile of one pile and I've still got four other piles to go minimum. So this, this is going to be more than what I can get in here. But anyway, this is a resource. I, I'm trying to turn the, uh, a negative into a positive or at least find the silver lining in a negative. So my mower's down. Yes. I'm having to borrow somebody else's mower every couple of weeks to cut grass just so I don't live in a overgrown jungle. As a result, I'm having all these piles uh, build up on my property. This is stuff that I could be composting to add nutrient to uh, my garden. So I'm just trying to take some benefit out of a bad situation. And I think that's something that we all should be doing is anytime we have a problem, try to find the, uh, the silver lining, try to find some way to turn that negative into a positive. So, uh, we got some rain coming in today. I'm going to try to get this moved before all this stuff gets wet. I want to finish this barrel up and put the rest of it over here to the side. And then as it breaks down, I'll just add off the ground into the, here for right now, I guess, uh, until I can get me another bin or something. Anyway, this is just one project I've got going this morning. This is actually a perfect time in the morning for me to be doing this because, as you folks know, I've, I've mentioned how noisy and uh, loud my, my neighbors can get at times. But this is, it's like 7 o'clock on a Sunday morning. It's really peaceful out here, really quiet, cool. The sun's just now coming up over the top of the trees. Uh, there you go. It's not even broke through the clouds or anything. It's overcast. So, uh, this is a good way to spend this morning just enjoying the peace and quiet out in my backyard before all my loud neighbors wake up and decide to start making noise everywhere. <laughs> Enjoy the quiet when you can, right? Anyway, I'm going to get back to work and keep doing this, and then I'll give you updates later on as I, uh, as this progresses update you on how it's going and how well this works like i said this is not an ideal compost bin it's just a quick down and dirty thing to get me started all right with that i appreciate you guys watching like share subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned folks i've got more on the way until then keep prepping stay alert and take take care folks i'll catch you later